time. Whew. It's so, the 2K this is the Sports game. pregame show. Besides the crash. Good evening, sports fans. This is 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson. I was doing good. Goodbye. Normal standards. It's just going to say, hey, you're the sixth man now. Okay. So I didn't save any of the upgrades. So I'm doing good. It's a road game for the Kings, and they're facing a new match matchup in today's game. Glad to have you with us for more right, well, of the action. As you're watching, this is Kevin Harlan with it. Greg Anthony, and Brett will go for a different look here. Okay. AI has checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Len comes in for John I Collins. Can do what I Carter, was doing he's last checked time. in for Torian Prince. Better. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Kent Bazemore. And then for Sacramento. Kuvis checked in for Willie Cauley Stein. Randolph comes in for Bagley. And Bialitza in for Justin Jackson. On the four for Sacramento. Fox is at the point with Heel next to him at the two. Kufis out there with Zach Randolph. And it's Bialitza in at the small forward position. Two minutes. The big changes in defensive rules happened right in the middle of your playing days. How did people initially react to those? Well, a lot of guys had three quick fouls, Kevin, because they're, they're out hand-checking and pushing guys around. And they say, what do you mean I can't do this anymore? I get paid to push guys around. Uh, but after a little while, uh, obviously, guys stepping off and understanding positions on the floor where you could get away with more physical play than you can out in front with point guards, obviously, and having refs' eyes on them or down on the block. Hawks star Nate Yeager in his third season with the Kings. Before that, nine seasons, Brent, in Memphis, with three of those being the Grizzlies head coach. Yeah, an interesting end to uh, his time in Memphis as things just so, kind of went know, awry guess, between I, him and management. But I'm still trying to work on my defense. Work on what it came down to. It's all around. And, uh, he has a fresh start in Sacramento with a very young, very energetic team that needs some direction. Maybe Dave Yeager, the guy to get the job done. Here's AI. First ready. shot, first pass. He's out the block fast. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet right, and drive right it. around him. Fox it. kicks to Bialitsa. 55 seconds left here in the first quarter. Randolph, a screen on Carter. Stolen by Carter. I'll walk a little bit. Yeah. And he's fouled so on the he's shot. One free throw coming down. up. Yeah. And that's what you want in transition, a high percentage opportunity. Uh, the story Ooh. is true. And here the defense does a very poor job of matching up. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Healed with the bucket. And the spacing right there for Buddy Healed allows him to get that shot off. You just can't Man, give him no that kind of space sometimes. or he's going to hurt you. Pass to on. Boom. His shot is good, making Bring him a perfect folks. two for two from the floor. And that's oh, not really the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Might have been a Buckeye, but I'm going to show you up every time. Got it. Good job in the low post. Well, then you got to guard him. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first. Lynn dishes to AI. Lynn kicks to AI. To the inside. Dude, and an Lynn gets it to go on the assist by AI. Lynn's got his first two points of the night. And at the end of one, both teams pick up some points. Hacks lead by one. And back in a moment, as we'll blocks, get underway but... with quarter number two. Nobody really came down to uh, Atlanta uh, to do that. So you can't be mad for a decade of, of really good basketball here in Atlanta. And now the reset is on. The Kings making a switch here. Cauley Stein's checked in. And by elites, kicks to Bagley. Over Collins. Misses off the left iron. Here's Atlanta. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. Here's AI. 
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. Brent, last season the league had oh, a timeout. Are you hearing any other ideas of how to reduce the duration of some of these games? There's also the idea last year where they put it in place where right after the second quarter ended, they put you on the 15-minute clock in between halftime. It started immediately. And I thought that that was ideal. So if you're at a game and you get to see the dog jumping through the hula hoop. Which you love. It, I love it. I it's only going to last the seven or eight minutes before the teams yeah, come back out. I thought last year that helped the game speed along and I think they sped up last year if I'm not wrong Kevin by about three minutes time I'm glad when you go out there and balance the dishes on your head that's always been so fun to watch there's only one red panda Kevin <laughs> I know <laughs> Fox with it and yeah, Young picks pretty, him up yeah. defensively they set the pick here's the teardrop President it's good. It out. And the Hawks lead is cut down now. Right it's just seven on the bucket for Fox. When the game starts to slow down for younger players, you know they're starting to feel confident about how they go about their business. Fox with a good decision there. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, I mean, it's an opportunity to kind of regroup yeah. and this. And so it's Atlanta with a six point. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Dave Yeager. Coach, what is going to be the focus offensively going into the second? Thanks so much, okay. Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. Right we'll here. be back for the second half of basketball right after That's this. Second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Both teams making substitutions here. To the paint, and AI throws it down. He sure can get off the floor. He one of the best in the business, absolutely. Yes. The Kings trail by 10. Well, the Kings entering their second full campaign here without DeMarcus Cousins. Did they get equal value in, in that trade that they made? Probably not, but they have the flexibility and they've added to this roster with some young talent. Let's see if they can make some combinations here work to escape the mediocrity that they're in. On the floor for Sacramento. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Fox is at the point with Heel next to him at the two. Lebissier and Cauley Stein are the bigs. And it's Jackson in at the small forward. Basket counts. Lebissier's got his second bucket of the night. Lebissier dialing one in from the mid range. And the Kings talked about a culture change as they parted ways with Cousins. Brent, do you see it that way? Well, uh, DeMarcus Cousins was learning and growing. And the interesting thing you go back to is his relationship with Denver Nuggets coach now, Mike Malone. It, it seemed like they were on a good path, and then a lot of other things happened around this basketball team. So I just made it. Ah. Trying to, to make things fresh and new. They have the new arena. I think that's helping them along. Normally, now I it's hear it a little on better. Front I don't know why I didn't to hear that one Deliver well. with this clean slate they have in front of them. Bielitsa, he checks in for Sacramento. Sounds like it. They set the pick. Back to Heald. Labissiere, the screen, down to five on the shot clock. Okay. And that's Prince, that time on the assist by Lynn. Prince has got the lead up to 12 now for the Hawks. Heald, the pass to Labissiere. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. You look at Boston. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And I think for the Hawks, they are rolling, showing a lot of belief in themselves. The fan base is energized. We'll see if they can keep this up. AI passes to Lynn. Oh, it's good. Jeremy yeah, Lynn's got nice six. One. And the crisp passing has opened things up in aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Hawks. This is a game where the 
defense, you know, steal specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort of five big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. <laughs> and so they'll take... Blame on me, huh? series a team they'll only see twice they're certainly happy to start it off with a win and you know when you look at the huge impact he had just a monster game for AI and he was remarkable absolutely destroyed the opposition any matchup he had tonight it felt like he was going to dominate Bagley with the ball he kicks to LeBissier to the paint. Here's Cauley Stein, and Cauley Stein throws it down. Oh, this is not Apparently the team not. we've been watching. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate it. So let's sit back. Let's see what's going on. Might cut this one a little short though. I noticed some streaming issues. I don't really want to, you know, continue streaming and not be able to actually show you guys stuff. Yeah, what the heck, I'll play another game. <laughs> Guy I'm looking for AI. Yo, what's up, man? I uh, got you lined up for an interview, if that's okay. Oh yeah, let's do it. Perfect. Good luck. Oh, legit. The interview, 2K huh? Sports post game show. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to catch up with our special post game guest. Hey, Shaq here. As a team, you controlled the pace tonight, seized the advantage, never really let them back in it. What was your collective mindset while trying to protect that lead? Well, we wanted to make sure we kept the work rate really high, you know? We didn't allow ourselves to feel comfortable. Uh, closing out games in the NBA, man, it's never easy. As soon as you take your foot off the pedal, that lead disappears. So credit to our guys for staying focused and not letting that happen. And that'll wrap things up. Thank you for joining us. For Shaq, for Kenny, hey. for Kevin Harlan, for the entire 2K Sports oh, group. This so. is Ernie Johnson. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. See you. All right, time to see what I can do here, so. Forget, what do I have? 2,000 some? Let's get crazy with the vertical, though. There we go, there we go. Pro level. Free my team token. A lot of things happen hitting sixty five. Mm. Everything's kind of hitting the uh, not going to be able to do anything, so I'm going to end this short. I'll see you guys later. I'll probably do some things off screen now, so see you next time.